Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in this video I'm going to introduce you to Model Context Protocol commonly known as MCP because there's been a big hype on this topic on social media and everybody is releasing a video on this topic but the one thing that I personally was missing from all of this was the fundamentals. What is MCP? What is Model Context Protocol? How does it work and why should we consider learning about it? So stick around because this video is very important regardless of what your job role is in the tech industry. But first, here's my intro video. So before we jump into the technical side, let's take a path down the history of MCP. And it's actually not that old. Uh, it's a relatively new standard which was introduced by a company called Anthropic uh, in November of 2024. And their whole purpose was to standardize how AI systems, specifically those which have large language models, interact with external tools and data. So Anthropic itself is an AI first company and this was only found back in January of 2021. They are most commonly known for their Claude language models uh, and the team that built this are actually former employees of OpenAI. So this was just a quick history lesson of who are the makers of MCP and now let's jump into the technical side of it. So let's take a look at what we're familiar with. We have a large language model to which we go ahead and put in a prompt and we get a response. Then these language models are usually something that uses the RAG patterns and a one that we are very familiar with is Microsoft 365 Copilot. So I come into my Copilot, I ask this question, the Copilot and its large language model is processing it and it goes ahead and gives me a response. This is something that we are very familiar with. It is an interaction between a user and a large language model. Now with this user and agent interaction, one of the downfalls is that you don't have access to all these tools and resources such as databases, files, and even unstructured tables such as a SharePoint list. This is where agents come in. And these are the type of agents that we've been building for a few years, even through Power Virtual Agents. Over there, we go ahead and use things such as our tools, knowledge, connection, workflows, all of this to build some really powerful agents. But keep in mind, all of this is inside that one framework of that single agent. So when we go ahead and build another agent, we have to wire all this up all over again. Make sense? Good. Because this is where model context protocol steps in. Things start to change a little bit. So the first thing that we have as an addition is a server. And what the server does is all the stuff that we have, the tools, knowledge, connection, and workflows, it gets moved into the server, which is a more centralized place. And now our agent, well, it doesn't go empty. What the agent becomes is actually a host. This is where the agent stays. However, it is also the client, the client which interacts with the prompts of the end users and also communicates with the server plus the large language model. Now the communication between the client or the host over here with the server happens using JSON or HTTPS protocols. But what's interesting with this design is now you can have other agents go in and hit that one central core server and therefore we don't have to redo all the work from scratch. Is it starting to make sense now? All right, let's do something. Let's go ahead and get some examples which will really solidify all this knowledge that we just gained. So in my example, I have a user which is going to go and give this prompt, which is how many PTO hours do I have left? And as you can see my server, I actually have some tools over here which my agent, that is the client, can utilize. So the process is basically the user goes and puts in the prompt and then we do all this stuff with the tools and everything that I have in the server. So here we go. In the first one, the prompt was basically sent to the agent. Now what the agent does is it takes this prompt it knows all the tools and everything we have in the server and he sends it to the large language model, basically saying, hey, this is the prompt that is asked by the user. This is all the stuff that I have. So can you just process it and tell me if I actually have all the information? And after the LLM has processed it, it actually comes back and say, hey, you actually have Workday as a tool in your server. That is where you can go and get all the information. And that's perfect. Agent goes ahead and talks to the server using a get call specifically to our workday tool. 
after that information is gathered, a response is sent back to the agent and the agent goes ahead and gives that information back to the user. So yes, there is a whole kind of six step process going on over here, but you see the really good integration that is happening with the agent, the large language model and your server. This is MCP in the happening. All of this process is going on. This together becomes an MCP. All right, all right, let's build on top of this, all right? So let's go to the next scenario where now the user has all the information and wants to go and submit a request. So it's simple. The user goes and puts in the prompt and then the agent goes and process all of this and leverages its server. So in this scenario, the user goes ahead and gives a prompt saying, hey, go ahead and give me two days off starting this date. Agent does the exact same thing. It takes all this information, which is the prompt, all the server information and sends it back to the large language model asking the exact same question we did before. Is that, hey, this is the prompt. Um, this is all the knowledge that I have. This is the information. Can you go ahead and process it? Like, do I have everything? The large language model does full processing. It sees the prompt, it knows the server and it comes back and says, hey, you actually do. Back in your tools, there is a work day where you can go ahead and submit that request. And so the agent does that. Now this time it's a post. The agent is telling the server that, hey, go ahead and submit this request in Workday and also start an approval process because the manager of that user is going to have to approve it. All that is done on the server side. Once it is completed, the response is made back to the agent and the agent goes and gives the confirmation back to the user who started all of this discussion. Is it starting to make sense? because this is how the overall workflow of this beautiful MCP architecture design works. So in the next video, I'm gonna walk you through how to build this entire MCP from scratch. It will require prerequisites such as GitHub and even an Azure subscription service. We have to do all that wiring over there before we tie that into Copilot Studio. So hopefully this video has been useful to you. Hopefully now you have a good overview understanding of what model context protocol is all about. And as always, Keep using Copilot Studio.